show you how to stuff a shooter car with no body work or light body work. We're going to go through the steps. Me and my son here, little savvy. The first step I'm doing, I'm getting a good paint job. It's actually taking everything off. I know it might be time consuming, trying to take all this stuff off. And a lot of folks are just store sanding on it. Then you'll wind up sanding on stuff you don't want sand it so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna take everything off then we'll take it from now okay now I got a little savage trying to move these eminents even if you get a little scratch on it, it ain't gonna matter because we gotta sand it anyway but keep it flat Hold up. go that way because if you slip you're gonna mess that up you know go Started rain on us, so we're gonna take it on the inside and deal with these bumpers, the front and the back bumper. Okay, we got the rear bumper here and the front bumper. I gotta take this bottom piece here off, also this piece. I done started on this front. I got the bottom and the bottom grill off. Now I'm working on this headlight bezel piece. It's giving me problems, but I'm gonna get it. Not gonna give up on it. Finally got all the pieces off that I was trying to get off. As you can see. I know taking all this off is time consuming, but it's well worth it. Because you can get paint in areas that you can't if you don't take it off. Such as up in here. Your paint will go all the way up in this corner here instead of just masking it off and you have a paint line there. So. I try to take everything off that I can. And this car here, it had been painted before. See, I might can show you. I can show you once I get outside the pores on the car. Let me take you out there and show you what all I took off out there. See the front bump off. All the emblems. Rocker panel. The molding, mirrors, the only thing I ain't off, well, my son unlocked the door, but we didn't take the quarter glass off in this trim here. It's got, it got rivets on, I can take it off, but I think I'm just going to mash that up. Real bumper. I got all the pieces over here with well, most of them. Some of them in the trunk. And some interior pieces. Tail lights. The heat shield up under the hood. 
the Fenalanus for the back the mirrors tail lights front lip But now it's time to start sanding, finding all the uh, the damage, which is not much. I seen a couple of spots. I'm gonna give me a marker, then we'll go around and start marking everything. But let me show you what I was talking about for us. It's been painted before. You can see right there where they didn't take the front bump off, and all that body filler got kicked up in there. So we're gonna have to sand that down so we have a fresh line on this side as well. Just put it on the inside. Now we're going to go around. We got a sharpie. We're going to mark all our spots. I see a push shot right here. Let me see if I can find it again. It's right here. I'm not sure if you seen it, but it looked like something had pushed up through the hood, so we're going to have to knock that down. We're going to mark that, and I'm just going to walk around all the spots I see. I mark it with my sharpie, then I go back and address them. Seeing a spot back here, right here. And I seen it's a run here, but that should come out from the sanding that they didn't get completely out. It's a spot here. Also here. Seen a few more, but I just go around, make sure I get everything. On this push up, I just put PU on it to let me know that I need to knock it down. And I'm gonna take my body hammer and I'm gonna tap on it, lightly tap on it, get it below the surface. Now I'm gonna take my dura block. Put some 18 on it. I think this 150 hit on it. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'm gonna put some 150 on it. Then I scuff up my areas so that I need to put some glaze and put it in. I'm just gonna scuff the air up around it. Just gonna give my glaze and put it something to burn too. Once you scuff it up, get your blow holes and blow it off. I forgot to mention back here where this stripe at. It's a line where they mask it off, so we need to feather edge that. So we're going to sand that with 150 as well. We're going to get it down as smooth as we can, then we'll wipe some glaze and put it in between that line. Probably shoot some prime over it. Also, I'm not gonna have to wipe no glaze and put on this one coat of prime or do that, but I'm finna mix up some glaze and put it now. Wipe all my spots. I don't know if I showed you, but I'm gonna be using this U Paul Dolphin Glaze two part. It's the same grit 150 and feather edge all this glaze and put it. Finish blocking all my arrows. Now we need to blow this off once again. Now I'm ready to spot prime all my arrows. I masked this area here up so I won't get no prime on the molding 
or the glass. Also here, yeah. so I don't want to get no prime on the hood. Be less, I got to sand off. I'm gonna be using this Uricam 2K high build primer. I already got something mixed up. Here's the results of the high primer. I'm gonna let this dry overnight, but I'm gonna spray some guide coat on it. So in the morning, I'll just be ready to start wet sanding. So let me spray this guide coat. I'm just gonna lightly mist it on. Just on my repairs. Challenger. So we get the wet sand now. Let me take you up here and show you what I'm working with. I got three different grits, sandpaper here. Three different brands also. This 320, this 400, and this 600. You want a wet sand with somewhat, with finish out with something like 400 or 600. Not 320 unless you put a seal on it because base coat, a lot of base coat don't want to cover 320 scratches, so you don't want to actually finish out with it. We're gonna finish out with this 400 grit. I already got a sheet here in my soapy water, and I got this rigid block somewhere up in here. Got this block here, I'm gonna wrap it around, then we're gonna get started somewhere on the hood so I can show you what we need to do. Got my block sandpaper. What you want to do, you want to wrap it around. It's going to go around three times. Wrap it around like this here. And that flap, I'm going to be holding it like that. I'm going to start on this side. Then I got this side to work with. Then I can flip it over and use that side. Okay, we're going to start right here. i done this area, but let me show you over here. You can see the gag coat. What we're going to be doing is removing the gag coat. And what the gag coat going to do is going to show us all our low areas. But this spot shouldn't have no low areas. But if it is, it'll leave the gag coat behind. We're going to take our block. And we're going to be going in the X pattern. Back and forth. Let me wipe this area. It's not flat, but I'm going to wipe it and show you what we're looking for. You can see gag coat still here. There, there, and there. That means we got to keep on blocking, come down some more. What we're need, what we looking for, for this gray, let me show you right here. It needs to look like this here, where you don't see no gag coat. And this feather is around the edges here.
All my repair is sanded with the 400 grit wet sand. See how filthy is this here? Now we're going to sand the whole entire car, but we're not going to do it by hand. We're going to do it with a DA. Let me show you what we're going to be using. It's going to be a lot faster than doing it by hand. We're going to be using my big foot duetto. Got a 12 millimeter throw, but you could use air, but I like using electric. And the sandpaper we're gonna be using is this Merkin 400 grit. It's a net. Just free sanding. And I got a soft interface for this pad here. The pad that's on here, it's soft. But it's, it's like rigid. This one here, it's got more gear, so it's what you want to use. Let me take it out of the package. Here's the soft interface pad. Let me show you. See the gear it got compared to this one here. Our interface pad onto the DA and a piece of sandpaper. You want to make sure you center it right because you don't want to get no pigtails from the interface loop. That's what it's going to look like. Let's get started. Okay, let me show you how fast the DA do as far as doing it by hand. Okay, we got this section here done. You see, that didn't take no time. And on your corners and edges, you want to take you some scotch bright and do that. You could do it before you start doing the flat areas, or you can do it after. Like around here. Because you're not going to be able to get the D up in those areas. So, you got to do those by hand. It's good for doing door jams as well. Also, around the lock area, or the door handle area, you just got to cut them areas in by hand. So let me finish up with this DA, then I'll cut you back on, show the results.
finished up with all the scuffing for a 400 grit on a DA. Probably used about half of the box. Come with 50 sheets. And on the door jams, I'll be using this maroon Scotch Sprite. I also could use the used sheets that I use, just fold them up and just hit the jams. But let me walk you around the car. It's ready for paint now. Once I wash it off. I'm gonna wash it off with some soap and water. Then I probably do the jams next. Scuff those up and spray them first up under the hood. But I'm gonna wash it off with some soap and water now. And once you do that, if you weren't gonna do the jams, you just pull it in the booth, then get you some wax and grease remover, wipe it down, then you'll be ready to shoot your base. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we right never stop. Right from the bottom.